I'm Palinda Karnangara, and I'm a practicing architect based in Sri Lanka. I successfully completed part two of my MIA process in April 2020. My motivation for becoming an RIBA member was that being a small practice rooted to the island of Sri Lanka and working across the breadth of the country from wetland to the dry zone and from hills to the coast uh, and on a diverse palette of projects from hydroelectric, wind power, residential, hospitality and religious, using simple available materials and unsophisticated building techniques, but with the sense of experimentation um, to create buildings that are contextual and so have a global platform for professional evaluation and knowledge exchange is extremely beneficial and it is a great opportunity for interact and exchange of work and ideas. I value this opportunity and I believe it will contribute greatly to my practice and also it will help us to improve our standard. I believe that the RIBA membership will give us an international recognition. Apart from that, it's a measure to evaluate our work in a global context and it is a reassuring for our client as a measure of the standard of our practice. The RIBA guidance were extremely comprehensive and clear. The support that was provided by the RIBA staff is commendable as they were always willing to answer our questions and guide us through the process. When it comes to mapping the project, the RIBA criteria is vast and it's a thorough professional evaluation. So in our practice, we aim to create designs that are sensitive to the site and to the tropical climate. So these factors allow our work to be technically, aesthetically, socially and environmentally oriented. Therefore, it was easy for us to map our projects against the given criteria. I'm honored to be a part of RIBA and I look forward to contributing as well as improving my practice through the resources provided by the RIBA.